Um, Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodabout, and over there we have John Lewandowski. Hey. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Well, after game three and double OT, it breathes new life into us Preds fans. Let's yeah. see what happened in game four. Game four. Total shots per period. First period, 17 to 5, Carolina. Second period, 15 to 9, Carolina. Third period, 12 apiece. I'll get back to the other stats in a minute. Face-offs were 54.9% for Carolina to 45 for Nashville. Carolina was 0 for 4 on the power play. Nashville, 1 for 2. Yeah. All right. Penalty minutes, 10 for Nashville, 6 for Carolina. Hits were 32 to 33, Carolina. Blocks, 31 blocks. To 15, Nashville. Giveaways. Yeah, a lot of guys watch this game. Giveaways were 16 apiece, but Nashville took that puck away 13 times to their eight. All righty. Scoring in the first period. You know, I had to do it just for him. Luke Coonan, <laughs> former Wisconsin Badger, former Minnesota Wild. Uh, scoring his first of the playoffs with an assist from Mikel Granlin, his first, and Ryan Ellis, his third of the playoffs. Then Vincent Trocek scored his second at the 1803 mark with an assist from Martin Niekat. Uh, then, quiet, ESPN. <laughs> All right, then in the second period, Ryan, jo Ryan Johansson has definitely showed up in the playoffs, came to play. It's his second yeah. goal with an assist from Duchesne, his second, and Matthias Eckholm, his second. Then Brock McGinn scores his first to the playoffs with an assist from uh, Lorenz, former Florida Everblade, and Martino. Then scoring in the third was Brock McGinn with an assist from Martino and Stahl. Uh, McGinn second, Martino second, Stahl's first. Then scoring on the power play, Nick. Cousins with an assist from Hala Hala Hala, Eric Hala, mm -hmm. his second, Matias Ekholm, his third. Well, that leaves us deadlocked again. Yep. Shots in OT were 11 to 7 in the first OT, Nashville. Scoring in the first OT, nothing. Shots in the second OT, 10 to 6. Carolina for a total of 61 to, uh, to 43, over 100 shots again. Yuji yeah. Soros was in net. He set a franchise record with 58 saves. All time and in playoffs. Two franchise records, one game. Yeah. Um, that being said, penalty, nothing over the ordinary. But now, this is all deadlocked. It will go seven, most likely, because they're going to win. Carolina may win in Carolina, and Nashville will come home, win there, and then they'll go back to Carolina. Most right. likely what's going to happen. All righty. So with that being said, your net minders were UC Soros. He stopped six uh, thirty-eight to sixty-one, and Nadalkovic stopped thirty-nine of forty. 
three. So. Soros had a save percentage of 0.951. Nadalkovich had a save percentage of 0.907. Both goalies played very well. Yeah. Three stars of the game are... Third star of the game, UC Soros. He should have been first star. Second right. star of the game, Brock McGinn, deservedly so. First star of the game with the game winning goal, Luke Coonan. All right. I'm going to say this because I want to. Nashville, no more double OTs. Wait. Right. Keep doing all double OTs. You'll win. <laughs> Just wear yeah. them out. I mean, that's practically what they're doing. They're out gridding them. Right. You dig your feet in the ground, you outgrid them, you outwork them, and then you just hope to get one by. Right, you do. And they dug their feet in and, and worked their butts off. They should not have won yep. this game. But every time Carolina came back, Nashville was right there to answer. Yeah, they were. It was, it was a very solid hockey game, but this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We will see you guys... What will we see you next? I don't even know. The days are just kind of jumbling together at this point. Uh, we will see you Tuesday with a doubleheader. We've got Preds in Carolina and Florida and Jacksonville. Yeah. So with that being said, we will see you then. Talk to y'all later. Hope y'all have a good rest of your weekend. And it's